my lovers and friends, I just went on a haul. I went shopping again. I know you all wanna get into this. This is what I would call my spring slash summer haul. A lot of these items were totally unexpected and I can't wait to share them with you. So if you wanna learn more, please stay tuned. Right, let's do this. Y'all, y'all don't understand. I am a true Max Denista. Like, true and true, legit Max Denista. I be at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods at least twice a week. And it don't be the same way. It be in different areas, different area codes. I go in. And I just find, like, the best stuff because I go so often. So, I just actually finished posting a haul and I went to TJ Maxx, totally like, not even a, like a good area TJ Maxx. I was just like, whatever, let me go, you know, look around, see what I can get. Maybe I can, you know, see some stuff on clearance. But when I tell you that this was a totally unexpected, tons of wins for the spring and summer, um, I was totally blown away about how many good items I was able to get in one store. So I'll get right into this try on, show and tell type of haul. I have so many black and white shirts, polka dot stripes, whatever the case, in my wardrobe. For some reason they ca catch my eye, but this blouse right here, um, I like the cut in the material. And I thought it would be perfect to like pair with like a pencil skirt and some flats in the summer when you don't want to work and just roll right into happy hour, like real cute, real light. And I love like the polka dot detail. It was giving me life. This is out of their junior section and it's a size large and it's by mine, which I have a few things from them um, as well. And like the material also is pretty damn good but at the same time very light for summer speaking of black and white this right here it jumped out at me because it was giving me like that pinup girl off the shoulder again it's black and white because i just like literally i have so many black and white shirts it's just crazy but um so this was a little risque for me um but when I tried it on, I was like, okay, cool. I could pair this with some high-waisted um, high jeans and a cute little flat and be out the house, you know, nice little beat face, and this could be cute. It's a little different for me, but, and it's also very trendy. It's on trend with the off the shoulder and stripe look. Also from your junior section, and this is, what is this called? Sans Sushi? And what was it, like $14.99 or something like that. But I think it's cute. What do you guys think? The other thing I got was some PJs. And these are like little short sweats, um, little short sets, real cute. I like the long sleeves. And the reason why I got long sleeves is because it's about to be hot and the air conditioning sometimes be like hitting. And you know, you need a lot of warmth. And I'm the type of person who is always cold. So this, you know, was real cute, yet comfortable. It's a really light sweat material. This is a size medium. And I got it from like the lingerie sleepwear section. Now I'm about to get my romper on. Like I love me some rompers. So this is about to, all of this is giving me life like. Am I the only person who has a good romper in a jumpsuit? Like, I have a ton. It's, it's my go-to look. So, this is unexpected. And I saw this in the junior section. This nice, white, floored, um, floored romper. And, um, you know, this little floral look is really on trend. Um, this is by Chloe and Katie. It's a size large. And I really was like, okay, let's just see if it fits. And it did. And I just felt like this was just so cute, so light. I was a little like intimidated by the sleeves being bellish because it's, it's giving me hippie too, but 
I like the color set and I like how light it was. And I think I could dress this down with some paracute flats or put on like a little chunky heel, a nice little headband with the right wig and um, automatic sweat. Along that lines of the summer romper, I saw this navy and with one with like pink flower details. And then also like these tie up details. Oh, I thought this was like so damn interesting. And then they was giving me like this deep back detail. Oh my gosh, deep back detail. Y'all know, I love me a good little back action there. So I didn't think I was gonna be able to fit these things because you know, I'm a grown ass woman. I shouldn't be shopping at Juniors, but I shop in Juniors. Judge me if you want. It's fit sometimes, but you know, juniors is for little kids who ain't had their hips spread out a little bit. <laughs> My hips have been spread. <laughs> but this is from, uh, this is called by Band of Gypsies and I loved it. In fact, I've seen quite a few folks already doing their spring and summer hauls and have something that looks like this and got it either from like an um, you know a high-end store so the fact that this is like on trend fits comfortable the fabric is bomb for the summer um it was a steal like this was a great great romper to add this really shocked me um you know i saw it i was like, okay cute hopefully it's not too short because i'm a grown-ass woman i can't have my ass cheeks out unless unless people are tipping <laughs> And I don't mind it. <laughs> but anyway, this is a size large, also from a junior section by Show Show. And this was just cute and casual and simple. And um, really shocked me that it fit, to be honest with you. I thought this little cute detailing, crisscross detailing in the back was great. Um, also, like kind of this, uh, I don't know what you call this, not pockets, but. Um, kind of this crisscross detailing here, which you kind of be careful because you kind of get, you know, my butt cheeks can come out a little bit, so it's a little sexy, but really simple, something to wear in the summer. Hopefully, we get a really nice hot summer here in DC. I love me some denim, I'm addicted to denim, so I actually have two similar denim jumpers one that's really 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 light denim but this I, and i got that some time ago and then this one i saw like in a medium denim it's a little 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 tight what size did i get this in this is by cco oh what the hell i got this in a size small <laughs> no one of those ones a little tight happen anyway <laughs> it's a little too tight but and it's just tight around my hips because I got the big hips that have been spread spread open <laughs> I got big hips because I'm a grown one anyway um and it has pockets but I'm not really tripping about it being really a little bit tight at the hips because I'm about to lose some weight anyway um because I gotta get swelt for the summer but i love denim i i love denim everything except jeans like if it's a denim shirt a denim jumper a denim skirt a denim dress love it jeans i'm like eh. but denim anywhere else and, and just denim is just like always a staple always staple this i really thought it was a great investment because like even when it gets cold i can layer this up and still rock this like a boss you know what i'm saying i know what i'm saying this is a really cute um i don't want to say cover up but like what do you call these things got this and the jury's still out but i just love some of the detailing of it and i guess we would call this like a cover-up kimono or something like that and the only problem i had with it when i knew it when i got it is it's a size large juniors and i thought it was like way big but I love like the print and the blues and I just thought like this could go well with so many different things in the wardrobe. So I decided to keep it and just, you know, embrace kind of like that baggy big look. Um, I, I mean, do we, would we call this a kimono? Not sure, but I liked it. This one really, really shocked me. Um, 
This is also Junior's, but I got this in a extra large. It's by Love Five. And I saw it and I was like, well, I never had did like that shorts romper with like, I guess, train look or I wouldn't call this high low, right? We wouldn't call this high low, but y'all know what I'm talking about when y'all see it in the try on video. But I was like, jury out looks real, real, real hippie. But when I put this on, number one, I was glad it came. I got it in an extra large because it felt so comfortable to the off the shoulder. Um, the shorts weren't too short. Uh, it just flowed. And I just like, all that was coming to me was like me in the summer, uh, after brunch, on a boat, or like on at a wine fest, something like that. And um, I love the print, the floral print. It just ended up looking really, really pretty. It was a shocker. There were a few other items that um, I decided not to keep, which were a black and white crop top set. I actually thought that originally when I bought it that the crisscross detailing was in the back, it was in the front, and I felt like I already had like a, a, a black and, and black and white crop top set. I also saw like a bralette, which I really liked the fit, but I was like, who are you kidding? Like, you too old to just be wearing a bra. <laughs> And another one I saw in the lingerie section, which fit good, well, fit well, I should say, um, was this bodysuit, but I just felt like it was real, real see-through, and that I thought I was gonna be able to get away with wearing it as a bodysuit, but it really was lingerie, and I just like, I had to let that go. But the great thing about TJ Maxx is that as long as you have the daggone tag on there, you can take it back, and that's exactly what I did. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that spring haul. Y'all know I have a rule. I'm starting in 2017. Is once I add some stuff to my closet, I gotta take some stuff out of my closet. So you gotta stay tuned for my next Poshmark upload. What I'm going to get rid of out of my closet to make room for these new items. But thank you so much for tuning in. Talk to you all soon.